ready for you. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Why don't we go ahead and have a seat on the couch, get comfortable, and we'll get started. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to go by Amber because Karen just has like this really bad ring to it lately. And I just, I can't anymore. And Amber just seems like such a sweet and trusting name. It means Jewel, which I am. Um, okay. Uh, you do know that that name, you know what? Never mind. So what brings you in today, Miss Amber? Where to begin? I am not getting what I want. Oh, okay. Can you elaborate on that for me? Well, as of lately, when I go into a store, hold on, they, they refuse to give me what I want and I'm just treated so poorly. Okay, so I can kind of get this straight. Are you saying that they will not sell to you? I am no fool and I refuse to pay full price when I can get it on sale and they are just refusing and it's it's just none of my techniques are, are working anymore. Are they not selling to you because it's not on sale and you want it on sale or not selling to you at all? <laughs> Listen, I am the reason that they get a paycheck. I am the reason that they have a job. How is this? Oh, um, did I, I must have missed that. So are you the owner or the manager? N no, I just spend a lot of money in that store. And I think that if I ask for something, they should give it to me. Ah, okay, I see. So what are your hopes for this session? Isn't it, isn't it obvious? I am trying to figure out what they are doing wrong so this doesn't happen anymore. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just take a moment and let's learn a little bit about you before we continue forward, okay? Ugh, how, how is this going to help me? Just tell me what I need to do so I can go. Amber, um, I know this must be frustrating and I get that, but it is a must and we need to learn a little bit more about you. So if you could please just tell me a little bit about your childhood. Fine. If you had asked my mom, she would say that I was spoiled and threw a lot of tantrums. But you know what? If she had just given me what I wanted, then that would not have happened and we all could have been happy. Hmm. Interesting. How did that make you feel? Ugh. Seriously? Yes, I am. Exhausted. Do you know how much work goes into those tantrums? I just hated it. And you know what? Is it that hard to give me what I want in life? Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you telling me that you just don't like to be told no? Duh. I put in a lot of work in my childhood and it paid off in my adult life. <sighs> Until recently. You seem pretty proud about that. <laughs> and why shouldn't I be? Mm, good question. But now I am having trouble with it and these ungrateful employees keep telling me no. Me, the customer. Okay, so why don't we do this? Give me an example of something an employee did to you or told you no. Okay, so just this morning, 
I went to the grocery store because I ran out of coffee, but they did not have my size. They had the size up, which is really expensive. So when I went to the cashier and told her, all she said was sorry. And what did you expect the cashier to do? to give it to me for free, for the inconvenience. It's not my fault that they ran out of my size. It's not my fault. And I'm guessing she said no? Exactly, and you know, you know what? She said that she could price match it for the smaller size, but I don't, I, I want it for free. It was a huge inconvenience. It was very traumatic for me to know that I might not have my coffee. But that seems like something a cashier could do. Um, I don't know if they could price match to what you want the price to be, but please, go on. Are you being serious? This, this is what's wrong with the world today. What is? that the customer is always right. It is always supposed to be right, not the employee, the customer. Let's go ahead and put a pin in it and we can dive into that later. Um, I took some notes, but I wanna go ahead and try one more thing before our time is up together. Out of time? I do not think so. You have not helped me whatsoever. I get it, this all just seems really weird, but I promise you there is a reason for it. Let's just continue. Fine, you better not be wasting my time. I'm gonna show you some pictures and then I want you to tell me what you see in the picture and what you think is going on. Okay, so here's the first one and I want you to tell me what you see. <laughs> Looks like somebody is slacking off on their job. Um, actually, this is someone who has been overworked and is tired, um, probably from people yelling at him all Exactly my point. He is slacking. If he would just do what the customer wants, everybody would be happy and it would go so smoothly. But no, they just have to put up a fight. Oh boy, okay. And what about this one? Looks like an ungrateful server. Maybe she didn't get a tip and she's about to come up with some lame excuse. Uh, no. Um, this is a server who is really trying to help. There's something that is out of her control, but the customers, they're not upset. Mm-hmm. Sure. Last one. What do you see here? That is what keeps happening to me. They should be bending over backwards to give her what she wants, as they should. All right. Well, I have learned a lot, and we can discuss what steps need to be taken at our next appointment. Ugh. Just tell me I did not come here for you to ask questions and not give me any answers. Okay. Well... You did sign a waiver outside that, okay, well, you did receive paperwork in the waiting room and you signed it that states that the first appointment is to assess what steps we are going to take to help you. Then you get a new appointment. No, this is unacceptable. You did not tell me I had to read that. It is not my fault that you didn't tell me what to do with it. And I absolutely refuse. You should be telling me now, not at another appointment. You were told and the receptionist told it to you over the phone when she called you to confirm the appointment. <laughs> she did not tell me. That is not my fault. It's her fault. She should pay for me. Oh, she didn't. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me, um, I'm going to pull up the camera and the recording so we can see what happened. Okay. Wait, what do you mean recorded? Yes. All of our phone calls are recorded. In the very beginning of every phone call, it says this conversation is being recorded 
for records and training purposes. Now, when it comes to here, we have the cameras and that is to keep us honest. So if we make a mistake, we can fix it. So I can go ahead and pull this up for you. Wait, you're telling me that that actually happens? You actually record the phone calls and those cameras are actually on? I thought it was just for show. Yes, I can still pull them up if you want, but I would also go ahead and head out the door and pay and then set up for your next appointment, okay? Yeah, yes ma'am. What makes you think I'm gonna be coming back? <laughs> because I can help you. We will see then. Don't worry, it'll be exactly what you need. Good, that's the right choice. You have a deserving day and I will see you at your next appointment.